everyone. We're going to be doing a number counter effect today, um, and I'll show you how to do it right away. So let's get started. So we're going to double click on the background layer. Um, once you download the files that are in the description, uh, that's what you'll be presented with. And then we'll double click on the numbers layer, which is actually an empty pre-comp. Uh, we're going to be filling it with stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to layer, new, you please work, layer, new, text. And we're just going to type in zero to start with. Uh, this is pretty small. We could make this bigger. I'm going to select my text. I'm going to increase the size. Yeah, let's get you at like around 170. And I'm going to deselect the clicking anywhere else in my composition. I'm going to select my zero. And then I'm going to go to effect, expression controls, slider control. And then we're just going to start toggling open this layer. Go to you know, toggle open <clears throat> text layer, and then we're going to toggle open effects, and then toggle open slider control. And let's make sure that playhead is at the origin, the very start. And within this layer stack, we're going to pick up the source text by clicking on the swirly thing, drag it over to the slider. So now the slider is going to be controlling source text. And we're going to constrain um, the numbers that can be displayed. So it's not like decimals or whatever. Uh, but you all click on the stopwatch next to source text. We're going to put in this code snippet. You know, it's it's math.round, left parentheses, effect, left parentheses, slider control, right parentheses, left parentheses, slider, and then you close all your parentheses. Um, once you start typing this in, After Effects should give you the option to fill it in on its own. I'm going to select anywhere in the interface to deselect that. So with the playhead at the origin, I'm going to hit the stopwatch next to the slider as it's set at zero. But we're actually going to change that zero to one, the one sheep appearing on the screen. And we're going to move our playhead all the way to about 17 seconds in. And we're going to change the slider to 10 because we would like the change to be pretty gradual over time. Now we're going to head back to our background layer by clicking on background. And you can see that we've got our numbers here. Right, as you move your playhead, they will change accordingly. Now let's add some effects. We'll go over to the effects panel over here. Um, I already typed in drop shadow. You can do that on your own. And we will be clicking and dragging a drop shadow onto the numbers layer. Let's double click the shadow color, bring it over to the blues. We're going to pick like a nice navy color. And the distance, let's put it in 25 to 27, maybe. Softness will be 10. Great, got a drop shadow. Now we'll put in a glow effect. So click and drag, stylize glow onto the numbers. And this is one we're going to be animating, actually. So the first thing we're going to do, hit the stopwatch next to glow radius, change it to 20, move it to about two seconds in. Change that glow radius to 50. Now with the number uh, layer selected, hit U to show all the selected keyframes you got, all the animated keyframes. We're going to select both these keyframes, hit Command-C or Control-C on your keyboard to copy it. Move over to about maybe four seconds in. Control-V or Command-C on your keyboard to paste that. And then maybe about another, you know, two seconds after that, or eight seconds. Again, paste it in. We've got these repeating uh, glow keyframes going on. And then we're going to be clicking on both the glow effect and the drop shadow effect within our layer stack. Again, control C or command C on your keyboard to copy that. And we're going to go over to the text layers within our composition and control V or control command V on your Mac to paste that. Do the same with the other text layer, as you can see, as we get to that part of the composition. Now, those two have as well the same effects that we apply to the slider controlled text layer. And that's about it. This has been Zipper Designs from Noble Desktop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy animating.